A Moto X experience for a very affordable price? Hell yeah, I'm in. Hey, it's Josh Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to unbox and give my first impressions on the Moto G. And there it is already. <laughs> Then if we get inside here, we pretty much just have the micro USB charging cable. And that's quite literally it. After that, we pretty much just have a quick start guide. Essentially, the Moto G is looking to be as affordable as possible. So assuming that the consumer probably has some sort of plug adapter already, given a different smartphone or a different peripheral device, then they should be able to just put the micro USB cord right into that in order to charge this, or even into a laptop or computer. Generally speaking, when you get a mid-range version of a flagship device, uh, it, it gets shrunken down a little. But since the Moto X was already pretty small to begin with, the Moto G didn't have too far to go. 4.5 inches is what you get here, 4.5 inches, compared to the 4.7 inch screen of the Moto X. However, despite all of that, the general feel is about the same, and that's because the body, the form factor, is actually about the same. So the handling is very similar, it's very familiar, and once you put this in your hand, you get that feeling of, well, this is really a Moto phone. But then that's where the similarities kind of start to fade away. Starting on the front, we do have the LCD screen, and obviously what that means is it won't have active notifications. Active notifications, after all, require the AMOLED type screen that allows for the activation of particular pixels. So this LCD screen, despite coming in at 720p resolution, does not have the particular feature that differentiated the Moto X. When you come around the back, it's not the soft touch, let's say premium feeling plastic of the Moto X, uh, especially if you get sort of that matte back um, that is available. However, on the Moto G, we have a much, a bit, a bit of a hollow feeling plastic material that is somewhat soft touched, but is incredibly smooth. And when you put it in your hand and you feel that plastic, it does kind of feel like a real budget, budget minded phone. And also that back cover is removable, allowing you to replace it with other colors in case you want to customize the Moto G to your liking. To remove the back cover of your Moto G, press the center and grip the bottom edge, lift up from the bottom. All right, let's see how that looks. It's definitely not as easy as it kind of sounds. After all, you're going to have your finger digging into the micro USB port. <sighs> Good Lord. Boy, I'll tell you, this is definitely giving the Moto G a little bit more in the build quality column. Well, the cover does come off, and that also means that you can get a bunch of different colors of it, maybe even uh, different materials. We never know what Moto will have in mind for the customization of the Moto G, but there you go. And of course, here's the warning that the battery is not removable, so don't even try to take it out. It's also worth mentioning that you're not going to get the touchless control either. And what that basically means for the Moto G is that it is a budget accessible way of getting into the Android ecosystem. So quite obviously, the most exciting part about this phone is its price. $179 gets you the Moto G at the base eight gigabyte model unlocked. An unlocked phone at under $200, that's a pretty big deal. Especially for um, a phone that has the Moto name, you do get that sense that it will be a reliable phone, it will have uh, good performance, even if it's not necessarily the fastest performing phone on the market. But more than that, the reason why I th I'm actually really excited to have this in my hand right now is because at that price point, it's obvious to me that this is going to be a great way to get, let's say, someone who doesn't want to be in other ecosystems anymore, an easy entry point into the Android ecosystem. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for our continuing Moto G coverage. We're going to have a lot of content for you regarding this really interesting budget phone. So keep it tuned here, drop us a like on our videos, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and follow us on social media, including me. My links are down below. Stay tuned to Android Authority because we're your source for all things Android.